In today's video lesson, I want to go over one of my favorite tools in Onshape, which is Circular Pattern. As most of the pattern tools, it lives in both the 2D and the 3D environment. Uh, let's take a look at it in the 2D environment first. Okay, so just how does circular pattern work? Uh, well, it is kind of what it sounds like. It's a circular array that goes around a center point. Um, so I'm just going to grab a circle, and I'm going to make it directly above this point. And you'll see why here in just a second. So I have a point right now that's directly in line with my origin. And I'm going to circular pattern that around. I want evenly spaced five of these without me having to do any of the math for the angles and having to draw them at all. It will actually pattern them for me. The only weird part is that it's actually hidden. It's underneath the linear pattern. So I'm going to click the little down arrow, and I'm going to go to circular pattern. All I have to do is pick the object, and as soon as I do, it'll automatically set the center of it on the origin. If I don't want it on the origin, we can move that later. You also have floating somewhere a little number that tells you how many of them there are, and I can double click that and change that to whatever I want. And right now I'm evenly spaced, 360 degrees, five of them, and it's figured it out for me. So that's awesome. Is it changeable? Well, yeah, whatever happens to the original one that happens to all of them. Can I actually change the pattern itself? Well, I can change the quantity. I can come up here and I can change that to six, but there is one thing that I can't easily change, and that's the distribution or the angle that I actually did it at. So I'm going to undo and show you that. Okay, so we're back to just our circle. What did I mean? When I did circular pattern, I picked my object, I set the quantity that I wanted. It's right here, this arrow that's here. This is where I can actually change the degrees that it's actually splitting it on. If I only wanted that to be 180 degrees, it will now split five of them on the 180 degrees. So that is one thing that you kind of need to do while you're inside the feature itself. And that's really it. There's not a lot to being able to use the circular pattern. Is there anything else that we can do? Well, hopefully you noticed a minute ago, it automatically jumped to the origin. And maybe that's not what I want. This time, for whatever reason, I have this circle, and I would like to array it or circular pattern around this one. Well, I know right now, every time I go to circular pattern, it's automatically going to jump to the origin. So you may want to think about that a little bit when you're actually doing your designs. But I can change that as well. So when I go to circular pattern and I pick my object, yes, it'll jump to the origin, but I can just grab it and I can drag it to somewhere else. And then I can say whatever quantity I want and the same thing, whatever angle I want. So that's really all there is to circular pattern. But circular pattern can be a lot more powerful if you start combining things together, like circular pattern and mirror. Well, let me show you. Okay, so now that I have this object, I can mirror it pick my line of symmetry, and I can mirror my objects, and then I could circular pattern that. And since they're still adjustable, I could then go ahead and link these together. And they don't want to auto-link together, but I can use this coincident tool. I can pick two points of it, and it will link them together. And now that's something I can go ahead and extrude. And that's really it for using circular pattern in 2D mode. Um, all I need is the entities that I want, and then wherever I want that center point to be, and then whatever degree I want that to be on. And that's really it for circular pattern in 2D. Uh, well, what about in 3D? Well, it's the same as all the rest of them. I need a 3D feature first. So I'll go ahead and extrude that. If you wanted to circular pattern that around the middle, that dot right there, that origin, isn't going to be good enough. I need something that is a flat line or an edge to actually circular pattern that around. So start thinking about trying to use your work features to your advantage. If this part truly was in the middle, then I could do another sketch on the right hand side. And then I could go ahead and draw a line. And that line I could use to go ahead and circular pattern that around. It's kind of like revolve was. I need to have an axis or an edge to be able to revolve something around. But this time I actually have a full solid 3D feature. All right, well, what else? Um, can you circular pattern it around itself and not have some axis like that? Oh, well, sure you can. So circular pattern itself is hidden under the linear pattern, just like it was in 2D mode. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to grab circular pattern, and you see that the first thing is the entities to pattern, and I want that entity. 
then you have to come over here when you're done picking your entities and pick your axis. And right now I'm going to pick this axis. For whatever reason, it wants to jump to new, and it's exploding this out into four separate parts, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add. And as soon as I do that, it will merge them together, and they'll all become one part. But there was a lot more inside there. Here is where you can change the quantity. Here is where you can also change the angle. All those things that I had in 2D mode are also here. And then I can also change the direction that I want that 180 degrees to go. There is one more thing I want to show you about circular pattern that really is kind of cool. I have a flat disk here that I'm going to go ahead and put an extra feature in. So I'm going to come in here and put this hole in there for whatever reason. And it can be as complicated or as simple shape as I want. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that through the object. The problem is right now if I come to circular pattern and I want to circular pattern that object, right now it by default is always set on part pattern. This is one of those opportunities where I want to change that from part pattern to feature pattern. And now that I do that, instead of trying to pattern the entire object, I can pattern just the hole. The problem you're going to say is, well, where's the axis? There's no line for me to pick. That's an object that has round symmetry, like a vase or a cup or something like that. If I have a shape that's like that, I can pick axis pattern, and then I can just pick the outside of the shape. And because it goes all the way around, as soon as I pick that, it'll find the middle of it. And that's pretty cool too, that you don't actually have to create an axis that's there if you have something that has that type of feature available for it. So knowing that information, if I had some kind of weird wonky shape like this, that I really wanted to circular pattern it kind of around this origin, then I can just go ahead and come in here and create myself some type of little point that's going to become a cylinder. So now when I finish sketch, if I go ahead and extrude these, and I will have to go ahead and rotate it so I can see the side of the cylinder. Now I can come up here, pick circular pattern, pick my object, go to the axis, and I can pick the side of that little thing, however many I want, say add so it'll merge them all together and then really all I have is this extra part that's in the middle and I can't very well delete it if I delete it then it kinda loses the circular pattern but I can just turn it off um, because it's not really there so that enables me to go ahead and spin that around something else so there's a lot of times in my circular pattern that I'll just leave something in the middle that is a cylinder that I can just pick the edge of that and then I don't have to worry about any kind of axis and that's really it for circular pattern. Hopefully you can really start thinking about things that are just around you that you might actually be able to use circular pattern for to try to make your life a lot easier and make your designs a lot cooler.